was blowing old boots, so I was holed up in a small tributary of Oakley Creek. The super slug was tugging and pulling at its anchor. Vicious gusts coming across here. Wow. <laughs> the idea was to get some close ups of the local seals, but they weren't playing ball. Neither was the light. The seals were curious about me, not quite curious enough. Local birds were flapping gamely against the wind. The light stayed poor all day, and towards the evening I decided to call it quits and head back to the mud berth. As I sailed across Hanford Water towards the Twizzle, it was still blowing a hooli. Jenner up, no main. Four knots, that's all it'll do. It's got, if I put the main up, I'd get another half knot, that would be all. But basically, the hull is going at hull speed. That's as fast as it wants to go. The other thing you may well notice is that bloody Hawkeye's packed up again. Then I saw them. And I decided that this was a good moment to try out the waterproof camera. So I ran the boat aground and offered them the use of the Exacti. Tell me where you blokes are from. Riding sea, most of us. Oh yeah. It was at this stage that I recognised one of the lads. Actually, I recognised his hair, because I'd seen him working on Pioneer, the pride and joy of Brightling Sea. And you, you work, lots of you work on the barges? Um, well, Ben and Ben. Yeah. Ben, they're Blokes both over there on the beach now. Yeah. They both, well, have a bit of work on the barges, do the races. Me and Joe work on Pioneer. Now just tell me, for other sailors, because this, this is for my little uh, video log called Keep Turning Left. Uh, tell me, what, are there rules of engagement? What happens when two uh, kite, kite surfers, surfers come we together? We still use port and starboard. Just the same as ordinary yeah, sailing? absolutely the same. Um, although most of the time it's taken with a bit of... If you're friends, you take it with a bit of, uh, bit of leeway. And it is an amazing number of skills you bring together, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it is astonishing. You've got to use the wind. And how, how old's the oldest bloke you've ever seen doing it? Um, 50s, 60s. Just had a hip replacement. <laughs> really? <laughs> 50 years old and with an artificial hip and still kiteboarding. That's good. Still a chance for buggins to learn a new skill. Who does your hair, you lot? Each other. Yeah. <laughs>